Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. And I have a look in here. So I would like to train out the GP level 2, which we will do in a bit. Um, I also need to get doctors able to do some treatment, that would be nice. I've got you here who are going to be a ward nurse. You're going. That's going to be your next job, I'm going to actually train you right now. Ellie Muddle is going to train Sabrina Villain. That's going to be free of charge for us. We're going to go ward management. Trainers available. You are going to do that. And then trainees available. Sabrina Villain in there. Start training. Right. I got both of my ward nurses are currently busy elsewhere. But we are making use of them in here. I've got to go 100 days without a death. Got to be very careful that I don't overdo anything. We've got to get our 100 days without a death. Quite sure how we're going to... I mean, we've got receptionists here. Reception, they're coming in. Probably I will change Doctor reception. In GP's office. Although I don't think I need to worry too much about changing reception. Like, once they get someone there, that they work through it pretty quickly. I got nobody working in these two, just for a moment, but I need to come over here, and it's keeping an eye on people and their overall health levels. We don't want anybody dying in here. So long as we can keep an eye on the overall health levels, we should be fine. At the moment, they're all right. They're, they're everything is good. The litter that you dropped on our floor. 25 days, 26 days. The only chance I've really got of getting this 100... Oh. You failed your treatment. Treatment failed, but he's got... Where's he going? He's dying. He's, he's half health. Does that mean he's going to die in... He's going to die in the hospital anyway. That's not very helpful. It's because he failed treatment. Pest control. Get them to wait. Right, we've got 35,000. We're requiring a pest control. Where are we going to put it? We will put it... Well, we'll put it sort of next to this bit, I think. I've got some treatment here. This is diagnostics. So I was thinking diagnostics out that way and then treatment heading out this way. But we can always, we can move it later, can't we? We do have the ability to move rooms and shunt them about, which is it's really, really handy, actually. So we, we want, it, this has got to be a four by four as well. So it's going to have to go there and there like that. So yeah, there's, there's definitely it's got to go here to start with. I drop you in there like that, and then I'm going to want a toxic waste bin, a recycling bin, can go right next to it there, a fire extinguisher can go there, we can put some nice smelling hand sanitizer, we want an air conditioning unit, we go in over that side, I'm going to put a palm tree in here. Nice big plant in there like that. I want a chair and a clock in here as well. Put a clock up on the wall over that side. And I'm going to put a wicker chair in over here. Right, let's turn you around and drop you in there like that. Still only level two. I'd like to start at least getting our rooms to level three prestige, which just you know, boosts them up a little tiny bit. And pest control requires a nurse. Money is dropping a little bit. Uh, we'll go in here. Staff. Jobs list. Nurses. Right, I got Roy Pound, who's a treatment nurse. And I got Kensington Trossock, who's also a treatment nurse. I get him with treatment too as well. And then we'll probably put him with pharmacy and with the injection room, although I might do pharmacy first. It might actually benefit us more to have pharmacy first before we do the others. But there is pest control. Heat wave. Excessive time in the fine weather has caused the individual to become unreasonably and deliriously friendly. They must be sent for treatment before they faint, overheat, or make more friendships than they can sustain. We'll send them for treatment in our pharmacy. Right. 100 days without a death is the one that we're working on. Now, you in here, it would appear that if you fail with... He's got Budgie Smuggler. I think that's a brilliant one. If they fail treatment, then they just die in the hospital, which is not very helpful for us. Um... 
An airborne affliction contracted from one of the island's more intoxicating plants. Sufferers may seem a little off, behaving recklessly, or at worst, acting totally feral. We'll send them for patient for treatment in our injection room. Okay, we've got feral patients now. Where are the, the, the feral ones? Right, he's cured. We're 12 days in to 100 days without a death. If everything goes horribly wrong... Today, I would like to introduce a new segment which I call Two Points of View. In it, I will give you two rather different points of view on a contentious subject. So, for example, view A could be, this is a rather fine idea for a segment, whereas view B would then be, this segment is an embarrassing waste of time. Stay tuned for more of these controversial debates next week. Okay. Right. Stay tuned for more of these controversial debates. I'm going to train Nurse MacDoom in Diagnostics 2. Should help speed up the diagnostic process a little bit. Um, but yeah, if we get a failure in treatment, then the patient keels over and dies. So the solution to this seems to be that we're going to need to close the reception on the hospital in order to get 100 days without a death if we're not able to do it any other way. Right, nurse ready for promotion right there, and go 90 days without a death. Okay, a lot of people are keen for us not to have patients dying. I'm not sure I'm entirely up to this task. I've tried these things before, and it's not always worked. Sophie Nova has sent us a email to say that she was pleased to visit, but doesn't think we've reached our potential yet. A strong relationship with Bungle Technologies could be very important for the future of our organization. It didn't go badly, but Miss Nova's visit could have gone much better. We didn't get any research points. Right, that's a, that's a failure. Uh, Start promotion, doctor, student doctor to junior doctor. Promote. There, right, she's just been promoted, which means that after that course, I can train another GP in GP level 2, which would be quite handy. If we can get that... Enjoy your stay at the hospital as much as you can. We want a level 5 surgeon trained somewhere and a level 5 psychiatrist trained. Lots of patients are queuing outside rooms that are run by nurses. Which ones are they queuing outside of? There's a queue here in the ward. Not a massive queue, but there is a bit of a queue. We're 52 days Nurse in. required in general diagnosis. Right, nurse required general diagnosis. That's because those two are out over there. Disaster warning. Solar event. Training course completed. There we go. So there's the diagnostics um, situation we'll now be taken warning. care of. The hospital is on fire. <laughs> That's not very good. Could do without patients being burned. There's been an outbreak of psychiatric illnesses after a self-made promotional film from the Orb Foundation was aired on a particularly rainy Sunday in unhinged parts of the county. There's a group looking for treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat these group of patients, yada, yada, yada. Cure six patients with trumidity. Uh, we need psychiatry, patients yes. For psychiatry on the way. Send them in. We will do it. We will pop a psychiatric ward down right there. Well, it's not a ward. It's a psychiatry room. Uh, we will go to higher over this side. We will go to nurses. Ooh, I've got unmolded nurses right there. We can train them however we see fit. I've got six nurses at the moment. Uh... Ooh, decisions, decisions. Now, I need a psychiatrist as well. I got another general practice nurse. I've got treatment there with a doc uh, sorry, no, a doctor. I got a treatment doctor there who I could then train in psychiatry afterwards. Or I've got a psychiatrist who can come straight in right now to run things at the moment until such time as I ditch that one and get a better psychiatrist so that we can get level 5 psychiatry. That's what we kind of want to work towards. So I will bring you in. You're our psychiatrist for a minute. And I want to have a look at our staff list in here for nurses. I got two treatment nurses overall right now. And I got two diagnostics nurses overall right now. We're going to want you to train you. I actually want more diagnostics nurses. Treatment is all right with two at the moment. 
Ideally, I want another one of each. So I want two more nurses. That's what we'll do. Uh, first up, I've got training in here. I'm going to go with Diagnostics 2. Uh, trainee is going to be you. And you are my trainer. Like that. Mac Doom. Start training there. So yeah, we're going to have some people waiting while they need to get diagnosed. Uh, then I want to go to higher in here. Nurses. I'm going to take... You're actually spot on perfect, you are. If I was to take you, this one here has got treatment and then psych pharmacy management and injection administration, which is pretty good, but and also training masterclass. You do have the stamina training for the longer endurance, so I could get you to level 2 treatment. I think treatment goes to level 3. It would be better if you had treatment level 3 and then pharmacy and injection, but I'm going to go with you. Benny Bilge, you seem to be the best nurse that I've seen in quite a long time. You're a perfect treatment nurse. So we will hire you, and then I want another nurse here who's going to be a diagnostics nurse. And then we'll go... I've already hired the doctor. That bit is done. So then I want to go here, and I want to build a psychiatry room, which is going to go right there on that side. So let's go in here and do our usual with the psychiatry room. Chair in a corner, couch over that side like that, and then we take a lamp, which we will put there, and another one over that side like that. Medicine cabinets over here so that we can prescribe a whole range of psychotic and antipsychotic drugs, which are really going to help our patient. And I'll put a couple more of these over this side like this. Uh, a traditional filing cabinet, just because it looks cool. Uh, no room. No room in the inn for that one. All right, fine. I won't. A big bin. I'm not going to worry about a toxic bin in here. Fire extinguisher is something that I want. I can put that there, but we're not going to be able to get to the bin if I, if I put it there. But I can put the fire extinguisher down there. And then the person who's sitting on the couch can stare at the fire extinguisher and uh, start drumming up all sorts of um, internal images about things going horribly wrong and the place burning down, which is really going to help their therapy. And I'll put the, what do you call, the air conditioning unit there. Uh, that's everything that I want apart from a rug. Do I got a retro or a rug? I'm going to go with a standard rug in here. I'm going to go with two standard rugs in here, actually. I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one there. And there isn't room to put another one in. No more room at the end. We'll put the two rugs over there like that, and... We will say done. Perfect. There is my psychiatrist's room. So now I want to go into my staff and I want to set the jobs. So I've got an extra diagnostics nurse. And I've got a treatment nurse up here who's actually waiting. You're ready for training. I can go and give you treatment level 2 immediately. I'm going to wait until Kensington Trossock is ready for training. And he can also have treatment level 2. You require diagnostics. You're learning diagnostics over there. Which is... You're learning diagnostics level 2, aren't you? Uh, you're learning Diagnostics 2. That one's only just started going, so we're, we're going to have to wait a minute for that one. Uh, these patients coming in here are going to be a minute, so we want to go to Items, and I'm going to put a couple of bamboo benches down here like this to keep the patients happy. They've got somewhere they can go and sit, and it's just generally going to improve things. And then I also want to get... Yearly review imminent. Ooh, let's do the yearly review a minute. We can't be that far off of getting our um, Nobody Dying Award. Rising, not uh, Nobody Dying. This one here, the No Deaths, I think I've gotten that once in total, ever. Uh, 59 days without a death so far. In injection room. 61. All right, let's have a look. New illness, cauliflower ears caused by microscopic fungus found in the island's soil. Sufferers' ears are crusted over with plant matter. They need to be given a particular human-friendly form of weed killer to recover auditory and aesthetic normalcy. We send the patient, uh, send the patient treatment in our injection room. Okay. Trumidity, onset of panic, caused by high levels of atmospheric moisture, have caused the sufferer to confess all of their darkest secrets. The psychiatrist must convince them to shut up and cool down before they ruin their life. Escape room required. Wanderrust. 
Prolonged feelings of sameness have led to dull, tedious pain and a craving for adventure. The sufferer's tendency to search for relief in highly precarious, unimaginative activities mean that they pose a great risk to themselves and others until they experience some kind of payoff. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need an escape room in order to treat them. We need to research escape room. Uh, they can go home. Grey Anatomy, I require a chromotherapy room. Get them to wait for that one. I got 31,000, so we need to build a chromotherapy room. And we need to make sure that we've got someone to staff it. Now, I've got eight people already queued up in a psychiatrist's office. Which I suppose is a good thing. Uh, you are Wander Rust. I've got to get a research room so that we can actually research and do that. Chromotherapy. Rooms. Let's get a chrome therapy room built. 21,000 this bad boy is going to cost me. Four by three. I'll do it like that. And I'll pop a door down here. That one is going to go that way round. And then i got a console that works on it as well. That one's going to go over there like that. Uh, this is going to take a toxic bin, I think. We'll pop that one in this corner back here. A recycling bin can go next to it. The extinguisher can go on the wall there like that. Nice smelling hand sanitizer next to the door on this side. Air conditioning unit up in that corner. And then the old clock and chair. Clock, chair. Right. And then I want to just push it up a little bit. So we'll put a woodworms poster in here. And then there's got to be a chromotherapy poster. Grey Anatomy, that's the one. That's what this room is used to treat. So we'll put an informational poster up there for people. Job done. There we go. We've got chromotherapy. We've still got nine grand left. I want to go... Actually, we can start things moving along. Now, keep an eye out for patients. I got an orange person coming in there. I can't remember what they want. Uh, I need to... Jobs. It's the jobs list. I'm all right with the jobs list at the moment. I've got a load of patients waiting here to go in to see Patient diagnostics. Announcement. Automated stack machines need restocking manually. Right, we'll wait till colorizer over here has gone through. Ooh. No. Oh, no. 90 days without Training a death. Course completed. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I did it. We did that one. We, we got that one right there. We did 100 days without a death. And then we just had somebody die when we we literally had like a couple days left over here by the look of it. At least that's how I'm interpreting things. It looks like that one did actually work from what I've got on here. Uh, the colorizer, that one, success. I am able to upgrade that machine. So I will upgrade that for 10 grand like that. 90 days without a death. Yeah, we literally just had somebody die right at the end of that one. Dead patient in the corridor. Dead patient in the corridor. Right. I've also done the training course of Diagnostics 2. So now we've got uh, trainees available. I've got a nurse with no training or I can bring a doctor uh, up to level 2 GP training. I got a nurse over here that wants diagnostics two, and a nurse there that wants uh, not diagnostics, a uh, treatment level two. I'm going to go with diagnostics level one first. You're going to go in there. Courses available, diagnostics. Trainers available. I've got. I'll just grab one of our own nurses to do that. That's 25 days. That's 27 days. So we use you. Get that one training, and then I will do the two uh, treatment ones in a minute. I've got janitors here. I've got two janitors at present. Let's have a look at the two janitors that we've got. I've got mechanics, which is the upgrade skill. I've got two lots of that. And then you don't have mechanics. I could really do with you having mechanics and ghost capture. But I've got a janitor that can, like, do training, can spread out the training. So... That's not a bad thing. Like, at least I've got one there that's able to do these things. So we will get rid of that a minute. And then I'll go into here. I don't need another mechanics one. So I think really with janitors, I just want to get the lowly ones and then train them up myself for the most part. Uh, you've already got mechanics, which would be helpful. And motivation. 
And you've got the Training Master class, which might is kind of a waste, really. It's, it seems like a waste of a slot. I want you with Ghost Capture, and then it would be Maintenance would be the only other one. Motivation. No, I'm, I'm going to go with these two, because these two are both ready for training anyway. So you can go in here, and I'm going to get another Janitor, because then I don't need to worry about them at all. If I just have the two of them, Natural Mentor. Okay, that's good. I'll get you two in here, and then I don't have to worry about janitors. They can go around, they can do the low-level stuff at the moment. You notice nobly need exposed knees have begun to succumb to the elements turning pointy and misshapen, caused by excessive shorts wearing. Send of the patient, sentation for treatment in our fracture ward. Right, nobly knees. We, we, we've got to be careful of nobly knees, apparently. That one's not doing anything until I get another janitor in. Escape room required. Send them home. Garth Fingers has gained lots of experience on the job. Nurse... Not now. Fortunately, we failed to complete the quest from Millie Blue Cosmic. Millie Blue? Millie Boo. Okay. I've got training going on right now, right there. Staff, promotion, student nurse to junior nurse. Excellent. There is another promotion. We've got people looking happy. i got a janitor needed there to clean up that ghost. I'm sure there's a janitor somewhere that can clean up the ghost. Stop. To the GP's office. And I'm sure there's going to be GPs here somewhere. So I've got three GPs in the hospital. We kind of need to wait for that to run through. This is taking a while to the colorizer, although I'm not using the colorizer at the moment. Let's have a look at what other challenges we got. Value 500, that's not happening at the moment. This one is earn 250,000, and I get that plot there unlocked, which takes out that bit over there. And, yeah, it's this one in here that's going to slow things down a little bit in there. That one, sweep up 60 bits of litter. Excuse me. That's not bad. And reputation of 85%. No, I don't want that one. But this 60 bits of litter, that could do good. Promote 30, 30 staff. Good gravy. That one's going to take a while. Earn 250,000 for plot three. This one down here is diagnose 30 patients. And then I got another one over here. It's hospital attractiveness. I'm not going to worry about that for a minute. Uh, I love, I, I do love the, how this one is like planned out. Complete two marketing campaigns. This is actually really cool the way this is all planned out. Uh, I will go like, um, I. That one, or it's going to be the litter, I think. We'll, we'll go with this one. We'll earn 250000 We'll start that one. Because we're, we are earning a decent bit of money. Uh, promote you from doctor to junior doctor. There we go. Quite a few of our staff have training slots. I'm busy doing training right now. Stop your whining. I need to do my nurses next with their treatment. And then after that, I will deal with upgrading and needed improving in janitors. <laughs> Got Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. You're about to enter the Wolf Zone, where we speak truth to power and sometimes kick it in the shins. I'm Harrison Wolf, and this is Two Point Radio. This is Two Point Radio. Right, cure six patients with tremidity. We cured five out of six. We got ten grand for that. And you can see the money is ticking down there pretty quickly. And Diagnostics over here has now completed. Excellent staff promotion is ready immediately on that one. So I'm wondering if that's a, another Diagnostics one that could go straight in there. Trainers, courses, trainees available. It looks like... Yes, I could immediately train him in level 2. I don't want to do that, though. I want Nurse Benny Bilge right there for treatment level 2. And I'm thinking Nurse Kensington as well for treatment level 2. Course is available. Treatment level 2 in there. And I've got my own nurse in here. That is 120. I got 70 grand. It's 20 to 25 days. You're 26 to 34 days. There's 26 days without a level 2 nurse available to do treatment. I'm going to do it because it's free. And we can use the money for other things. I need to build a research room. That's one of the things I need to do is I need to get a research room. I've got a, a lovely square up here. But I can build a research room that takes up to 100,000. And yeah, we, we know that takes a, a little while. Research... 
Yes, I've got one here with surgery level two. I could get that doctor. We've then got spare psychiatry and we can start up some surgery. I need a doctor that's only got surgery. And also need one with only psychiatry so I can get level five trained on both of them. I'm getting the sneaky suspicion that this is going to be the hospital I go to all the way up to level three. Because I'm loving how you have to expand this hospital. Um, it, it's appealing to me quite a bit. So if I take you, I've got a backup for psychiatry for now. And I've also got training for the first two levels of surgery, which do get expensive. Although once we start to get a decent bit of cash coming in, we don't really need to worry about money. So I'm thinking I'm not going to do that. Your diagnostics and so, yeah. All right, let's let's get rid of these. Let's let's get rid of all of them. And nurses in here. I've got two more unmolded nurses that I could bring in. Uh, you, their ward management. You can actually be a backup for the ward managers. I'll bring you in and have you as our backup. No, I want to go staff. And then I want to go into the jobs assignments in here. Uh, doctors... Uh, fine. At the moment, you're just a psychiatrist and nurse is in here. It's you right there. So you're going to be a ward manager backup. That's what I'm going for with you so that I've got three nurses working the two wards. I think is a good way to run that. Diagnostics, uh, treatment level two coming along very nicely there. I think that's, a, that, that, that's quite good up there. So research. Escape room required. Send them home, and we've got a solar After event has been detected. After some deep research and investigative work, I found out that Holistics was born from a small company called Whole Lot of Sticks. Yeah, that's right. It sold sticks. Not wildly successful, as you can imagine. Then one day, some sticks fell in a cup of hot water, and they sold it as a miracle tea. The rest, as the fella says, is history. There's a fire. There shouldn't be a fire. Just going to plonk that room there for a second. Staff promotion. Sabrina Villain is ready for promotion from junior nurse. So she can be Villain. I love the fact that we got a nurse called Villain. That's brilliant. New illness, neurological imbalance discovered. A crippling lack of direction has led to a deranged costume desire to be told what to do by a supreme authority figure. Once they've been convinced that they're not from an ancient civilization, sufferers need to be helped with the pressures of modern life. We send them for treatment in psychiatry. I've got a very basic research room at the moment, and I've only got 18 grand, so I don't really have the money to be adding in extra stuff. Most commonly caused beach whale, most commonly caused by falling asleep on the sand, only to have a nightmare the sufferer hears, and sometimes mimics a throaty, wobbling melody. Uh, yeah, I, I want to work on our research room over there. We have a research room, but we don't Pharmacy. have a doctor. Calling nurse. Uh huh. Calling a nurse. As soon as this is done... Training course completed. Nurse, training only completed for some of it. Staff challenge, hospital attractiveness of 70. Well, they're working on that. They are currently working on it. Earning 250,000. I'm on 179. I need to get the treatment nurses done. We've got five days left, so they'll start going out and actually treating some patients. I've got it on slow speed at the minute. Let's go to slightly faster speed then. Probably help things along a little bit. Uh, you're doing wonderful. Higher in here, nurses. I got three untrained nurses. I got a treatment doctor who I am actually going to need. And then I want to go into here. I do. I am going to need treatment doctors. That's, that's something that we are definitely going to want. Uh, trainees. Right. Janitors. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later